I just got this today. It is the Somerset Studio Interactive Mixed Media Journal, and it's the November, December, January 2020. Okay, and I haven't even looked at it, so let's look at it together. Do you hear that uh, police siren? I hear that every day, at least a couple of times on my busy street. Mm, love those envelopes. Wonder how, how good my lighting is. Let's get this down a bit. That looks like encaustic. Nail polish marbled greetings. Where's the nail polish? I don't know. I wonder if this paint is the nail polish. So what are these? Batting optional chipboard, disappearing ink pen and embellishments. Sort of looks like a Christmas tree decorations. Greeting, oh, creating <laughs> in miniature by Nicole Lilliquist. Each moment alone, surrounded by either forests or water. Well, I know that looks like a framed picture that's kind of floating up because it must be on something. But that looks like a, a coaster tray. Timeless Inspiration by Kim Collister. A page of her grandmother's pressed flowers that were over 50 years old. Mm. Nature's Wax and Wane. Yeah, I was right, that, that was encaustic. Hmm. Some artist papers. Ventures in paint pouring without the usual supplies. Hmm. I don't know. I've heard that phrase, paint pouring, but I don't know what it is. This is an interesting technique with, with um, book text. Watercolor dreams. Hmm. Isn't that pretty? Interesting techniques. Hmm. Hmm. A lot of layers. Lowe's and Home Depot have a small section of mistake paint that is drastically reduced in price. Hmm. Doodle at circles. No, I don't think so. Something old, something new. Oh, that is uh, one of these artist papers. Sounds like something's really going on down there. Ambulance. Hmm. Have to read this again to to see the the um, reasoning why these um, uh, those papers are uh, in that shape. She loves their flowers, but not in vases. I 
I haven't seen those kind of bright colors uh, very often lately. Looks like they started with a ba black background. Mm -hmm. And another artist paper. And that one's two sided. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, Be Love by Renee Stein. It looks like felt. Machine stitching. It, it looks like the shape of a strawberry or a heart. You decide. That sort of looks like an accordion book. Or a zine. That's because it's four sections. Hmm, I don't know. A little book in an Altoids tin. Let's see if that is. Uh, yep, Altoids tin box. Oh, it's, it is an accordion book. The Craft of Writing. Lots of fun techniques. That looks like masking tape. Eau de toilette. Hmm. Not sure if that's one book or a stack of books. Discovering hidden designs. Remove this page from your book. Apply a layer of white gesso to the page and let it dry. Following Janet's instructions on page 29. Use two or three colors to achieve a marbled paper look. Hmm. Cut and paste. This reminds me of either Daphne's Diary magazines or Flow magazines that have you do those kind of exercises. A painted palette story. using um, their paint palettes uh, to alter, framed and in flight. And that looks like the back of um, a painting, you know, that looks like the nails holding the canvas, or maybe that's the back side. Under the spell of moonlight. A lot of texture, maybe. Ivory icons, the mystery of Lewis Chessman. Hmm. Artwork and story by Lynn Perella. Very stained glass looking. Uh, not unlike the figures depicted in the Bayou Tapestry. Something about Frida. Waking art with abandon. Hmm. She doesn't look like Frida Kahlo. Music paper. And this looks like some more artist paper. We're big fans of all the different details and elements. Hmm. Altered game set.
Little bird. Okay, where's the bird? I don't see it. Oh, it's a, a little book. Here's the bird. My lighting is terrible and there's a glare. Do you see the bird? Very fun book. Make your mark. Mm. Ivy Newport is the artist. She lives outside Portland, Oregon. Inspection requested by Jenna Lee Anderson. Tear the cover off an old book. And some more artist paper. Well, that's unusual. They, only, they usually only have uh, one section of a couple of sheets. A Robert Louis Stevenson book cover. And it's supposed to be a cover for a sketchbook. Filling in the Blanks by Michelle Ward. Looks like a lot of cor corrugated cardboard. Like a sampler. That's interesting. Oh, and here she, here's what she started with. A lot of texture. For the Love of Lettering, the journal page by Linda Hernandez. That's interesting. Oh, and they want you to take this page and uh, use it to create something like uh, this or this or that. Free printable mixed media postcards. Where? Sign up to receive. It's all in the details. Oh, that looks interesting. Hmm. 
that might be worth getting that book. I'll, I'll come back to that. Okay, that's the end of the book. And this, Echo Dyed Art Journals, Using Nature's Imprints by Susan Brooks. That does look fun. Might have to look into that. Okay, there is... It's a registration for a class. That is this really pretty cover.